you know, I was given this message a month or so ago when there was actually, I know there's a lot of bankers in the room. Um, there was a banker that talked to me afterwards who had read my book, and this is a, a small piece of my book, the, the missing element in there, and he had a 20-year anniversary. He, was going, he had just gone on about a month before to uh, Hawaii with his family. And one of the things he wanted to do is go play golf. So, you know, he was a one-some. What do we call a one-person playing golf, you know? He's, you know, you get paired up with three others. What do you call that, a one-some? What do you call it? <laughs> Lonely? <laughs> so he goes out to this golf course, a public golf course in Hawaii, the only one he can play. This is his story. And he says, Steve, I'm just going to, I just decided to use for the first time maybe in my life, and it took a lot for him to admit that, for the first time in my life, I'm going to use the, the, your, your information. I'm going to talk about them. And I'm not going to talk about me. And, I sa and so I said, what happened? He goes, well, he goes, I would get paired up with these three guys. He goes, and you know, at first it didn't click, the first couple of holes, because like I say in my book, you got, it's, you got to ask the right questions, not just questions. You got to get to it, but it takes an evolution to get there. He says, but a third or fourth hole, they're just completely engaged in me, and I'm just listening to them, because these are some big players. He goes, they live on the West Coast, and they were enlightening me with great stuff, and they were loved being asked, and he goes, I just was learning. He goes, they didn't even ask me what I did until we were in the clubhouse 18 holes later. Now, guys, that's what, five hours later? Five hours later, no one even asked about him. That's how it goes in your life, doesn't it? You know, he's sitting there, and they said, well, what do you do? He goes, well, I'm a bank president. And, and they said, really? And he says, yeah, and he says, he's talking to this other guy, and he says, you know, tell me what you do on the West Coast. And he goes, I, I'm a big, the guy tells uh, the banker, he says, I'm a really huge car collector. He goes, I do this, I do that. His two other buddies, because they were all friends, his two buddies went, you're kidding. You collect cars? They didn't know, because it's love me some me. I love me some me, and I'd like to talk about me. I don't want to hear about you. That's most people, and he just turned it around. What happened from there? It could be the end of the story. It isn't. They said, listen, not only are we big players on the West Coast, but we are private club members to most virtually every club in Hawaii. How would you come out tomorrow for the real club, a club he would have never gotten on? This guy's a big golfer. It means a lot to him. And he got to play them one of the most exclusive courses in Hawaii. On top of that, when he left, they, they all three gave him his cards. And this is what he thought was really amazing. And he said, they said, listen, anything you need on the West Coast, you are one phone call away from getting it. You call us, we're there for you. All he did was implore a simple thing of pure curiosity. And he enjoyed it because you can learn. I've been doing it for 25 years, and I've created what I call an ocean of knowledge an inch deep.